have to wait unreasonable time for their care. They have earned this care. Americans vet America's veterans deserve better. Secretary Shinseki and Acting Secretary Gibson have stated that we now know that within some of our health care facilities there are systemic and totally unacceptable lack of integrity. This is a breach of trust. It is irresponsible, it is indefensible, and it is unacceptable. It has been called by many close to the race one of the dirtiest and most contested Senate races in America at the moment. Democratic Senator Mark Pryor is dueling it out with Republican Representative Tom Cotton. And the freshman Cotton has made great strides against the incumbent and would appear on the verge of putting this critical seat in the red. But it's some of the invectives being tossed about that have captured national attention. Let's welcome into Midpoint former Army Captain Tom Cotton, whom we thank for appearing with us. And also, we thank you for your service, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon. It's great to be on with you. Good afternoon. I, I do. I'm going to talk about the VA in a second, but I want to get right to this whole race itself, because if you read around to all the different accounts of what's going on, I see those words constantly, dirty and down and dirty. Why is it getting so nasty? Well, I think you'd have to ask Mark Pryor about that. Uh, he and Harry Reid and their allies have been running negative attack after negative attack against me without defending Mark Pryor's record at all. I guess if I voted for Barack Obama 93% of the time, then I might not want to defend my record either. Uh, I, on the other hand, have had a series of ads with my mom and my dad and my old Army drill sergeant and my wife. In fact, the dirtiest my ads have gotten so far would be when my wife Ann and I were planting flowers at our family home in Darden Hill. There was a report that came out, I believe in mid-May, that talked about, and I'm going to quote here from some of the stories, it said the narrative that you were in deep trouble against Pryor. Do you still think you're in deep trouble or have you managed to change what's happening? I, th I think the race in Arkansas is moving in our way uh, because Arkansans are moving against President Obama and liberal senators like Mark Pryor who enable him. And Arkansans why? Don't want a senator, uh, Arkansans don't want a senator who's a rubber stamp for the Obama agenda. They want someone who's going to put a break on the Obama agenda, and that's what I intend to do in the United States Senate. Tell us a little bit more then about what you would bring to the table if you are indeed elected. Well, if I'm elected to the Senate, I'm going to work on exactly what I've tried to do in the House of Representatives, to get runaway government spending under control, to address our crushing almost $18 trillion debt, to try to repeal Obamacare and start over on health care reform so we can empower patients to ensure that people have affordable health care, that if they have a pre-existing condition, they can get it. They can get it in their communities from doctors of their choice. And to begin to rebuild our military, which has faced a trillion dollars of baseline budget reduction under Barack Obama and supported by Mark Pryor at a time when the world is getting more dangerous every single month. Representative Cotton, a couple of minutes that we have left here, let me turn again to the VA that we let off here for a moment, and you certainly as, as a former uh, member of the military here. What's your immediate reaction when you hear the studies and the reports that came out on Monday that talked about the tens of thousands of veterans who not only are still waiting for care, but basically have been used by those who are seeking to cover up their care and their care needs? I'm appalled by the report that came out. I'm appalled by the waiting times that our veterans have faced that are far beyond anything, any targets the VA has set for itself or what we should expect from a function, well-functioning health care system. Frankly, a lot of the bureaucratic misconduct you've seen, whether it's the double book accounting for waiting times or the misleading reports, uh, are all just uh, a related phenomenon to the underlying problem, government trying to run a health care system. As Ronald Reagan said, outside of its sphere, Government doesn't do anything as efficiently or economically as the private sector does. That's why I support legislation that would allow veterans who have been exposed to excessive waiting times to get care in their local communities from hospitals or clinics or physicians that everyone else can receive. No veteran should have to wait to receive health care, certainly not wait until they die receiving health care. I only have 20 seconds left. If you were in a position of power right now, you were looking Barack Obama straight in the eye. What do you say to him to, to fix this? I'd say... Take this authority that Congress is giving you, begin to clean house in the Department of Veterans Affairs, fire the people who are responsible for this misconduct, and let veterans seek care either at a VA hospital, if that's their choice, or in their local communities. I cannot agree with you more as somebody who is very sympathetic to the military. Representative Cotton, thank you so much for joining us. We'll be sure to speak to you again as we get closer to the midterms. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is indeed, it makes no difference who you are, in or out of the military. You have to be appalled at what has happened. You certainly have to wonder why the administration is not moving faster to fix this. Midpoint continues.